Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working in Pro Tools and we're going to be demonstrating another um, automation type, which is the volume trim automation. So on a previous tutorial, we explained you how to, how to create standard or conventional volume automation. So uh, here we have uh, three tracks. Um, they're all guitars, electric guitars. We've got guitar one and two. Those are rhythm tracks. And then we have guitar three. That's a lead guitar track. And I've, I have applied some automation, as you can see. There's all these automation points um, so that, you know, the level goes up and then it comes down again and then it goes up and then it goes down again. Okay, so so that's regular uh, standard volume automation, if you want to call it that way. Now, let's say that you send this uh, mix. And by the way, let's go ahead and listen to it real quick. <laughs> Okay, so as you could see, or well, as you could hear, there's a lot of automation going on. So let's say that you send this mix to uh, your client or maybe the producer or the record label, and they come back to you and they say, you know, it sounds good, but could you please just bump first the first half of that um, lead guitar, bump it up like 3 dBs, okay? Push it up 3 dBs, and then leave the second half um, unaffected, right? Well, you might be thinking, well, if I'm going to make this 3 dB louder, I would have to go into each of these points and then, you know, drag them up 3 dBs, but then making sure that the other uh, automation points stay the same. And, you know, in this case, you got one, two, three, four points. It can get a little complicated uh, pretty quickly. So, that's when you have, or when you use the volume trim automation, which is pretty much another layer of automation on top of the current volume um, volume automation. So in order to use that, once again, you go here in your views and you select volume trim view. So as you can see, there's a blue line that represents the audio the automation that we've done, the main automation. But then you got that yellow line. That's a second layer. This layer goes on top of that blue line and basically affects to, affects the blue line or the regular automation uh, uniformly or in a uniform way, okay? So if we were gonna go ahead and bump up the first half by 3 dBs, so we're gonna push the first half of this Guitar 3 track 3 dBs up, right, to make it louder, we can simply go here into our yellow line and once again add our automation points, right? there and there, one and two, and then we can just push it up three dBs. And as you can see, as soon as I do that, check what happens to the blue line, it goes up. So it basically modifies your regular automation line uh, in a uniform way. So you don't have to go, you know, on each of those automation points and modify them. You can simply use this trim or this volume trim automation. So now if we press play. So that's all 3 dBs louder on that lead guitar track. Okay, and then it jumped back to zero. So you get the idea. This is very useful when, as I said, when you have a producer involved or a record laborer or the client and they like the whole mix, but they want certain sections to be a little louder or a little softer. You don't have to redo your mix. Please don't do that. You can simply use your volume trim automation and do those uh, quick little fixes in seconds. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from a BD and PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using...
All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.